Okay, so this is Maddie and Tiale, and we are doing How to Link to Web Data, and it's from the Journal of Accountancy by John Woodruff in March 1999. And the functions we'll be using today are insert data from the web, and that's pretty much it. And so to do this, we're going to go to data and insert, oh, is it data? Yeah, data, get external data from the web. And um, we already have the website that we want to get the chart from. So we'll just copy that in and push go. And as you can see, it pulls up our, the chart that we want to use. And so we'll click all of it so we can get this chart into our, um, our spreadsheet. And we'll import this. Okay, so we had a problem getting that to load in Excel, so we'll just try a different chart. So what we're going to do is go to um, Yahoo Finance, and we're looking at Disney right now, and so we'll just copy this um, URL, and this is we'll get our data from this site. And so we're going to go back to get external data from web, and then we'll just paste that. That was control V if you didn't know. And then <laughs> we'll go, we'll push go. And then we'll wanna, if, oh, yes. We wanna insert one of these charts and you can choose any one you want. And so we'll choose mm, this one and import that. And I'll say where you wanna import it. And so we can do any cell we want. So we'll just do it in the first one and push okay. And it's retrieving the data from the web. And as you can see, um, there's our data that we got from Yahoo. Okay, so that was a good overview of the whole thing. And we just want to show you one more feature. So again, we're going to go to get external data, and we're going to get it from the web. And uh, I'm going to go back onto Yahoo Finance. And I'm going to uh, pick this URL. And then I'm going to go back to Excel. And I'm going to go to, here it is, let me pull this down into the screen here. I'm going to paste it up here, Yahoo Finance, and I'm going to hit uh, go to get to the website. Then I'm going to pick the one I want. I'm going to do something a little bit different, but I'm going to pick the same one just so you can see exactly what happens. So I will do these arrows right here. And before I go to import, I'm going to hit options. And what I want is I want the full HTML formatting. So it just formats it a little bit different. It looks a little bit nicer. Then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go to Import. It's asking me where I want it. That looks great. I'm going to go to Properties right here. And what you need to do is you want to refresh the data so that it's always current when you're working on it. So I'm just going to refresh it every time I open the file. I'm going to hit OK. I'm fine with it being in A11. So I say OK. It's thinking here for a minute, and there it is, and that's actually the whole thing, but see how it's formatted just a little bit nicer, and it would pull in colors if you needed it. So thank you so much. That is how to get a database off the website.